you finally got it set. It's a big week for the Drew Theater Department as the Broadway hit A Raisin in the Sun makes its debut on campus. It's a period piece from the late 40s, 50s. It is still um, the, the issues, the themes, um, the conflicts are still very prominent today. Written by Lorraine Hansberry, it was the first predominantly African-American play performed on Broadway and took home its fair share of Tonys. The director, Rodney Gilbert, says it's a play that tackles a lot of issues. So it really looks at integration and desegregation and how it affects one family um, after their, um, the economics in their household changes drastically based on an insurance policy. The play centers around a poor family in Chicago and how they respond to a big financial boost. The family gets an insurance check due to the death of Walter's father. Big Walter, and they have to figure out exactly what they're going to do with it, and they have different, different ideas of how to spend the money. And they get a large lump sum, especially for that time. Not only is the cast ready to go, but the crew has put in long hours to get the set just right. A lot of crawling around on the floor, like painting those big brick walls and, um, you know, just getting all the walls up, and it was just, like, we basically built a house. The casting crew say they hope the play will have an impact on the members of the audience. It's a great story. Like Rodney has done a fantastic job directing it and should come out because it's just, it's really relevant. Rodney asked us, we circled up the other day before our performance and he said, if there's one word that you want the play to do, what would that be? And I said, I want it to inspire. And when President Bull came to see our performance last night, she spoke to us afterwards and she said it was very inspiring. A Raisin in the Sun runs through November 17th in the Thomas H. Kane Black Box Theater. For Drew University, I'm Ted Johnson.